Is writing your life's purpose, is it something that you want to do? Or is it something that you feel like you are actually called to do? Uh, that there is a reason why you want to be a writer. I'm going to share some thoughts with you today about what I think writing might be for writers. You have a story to tell, but you don't know where to start. Let me show you how to free your story. I teach you how to write and how to dig deep in your soul to release your story and make a difference in the world. So we tend to think that we make our decisions in life, right? We decide what we're going to do. But really so much of life, uh, we make choices based on things that happen to us that are almost unexpected. So a car accident, for example, might change a, a job that you do. Maybe you're no longer able to do something that you did before because you were in a car accident and now your body um, was hurt or you were affected in some way and you can't continue to do the same job. Maybe you're just afraid to drive and you choose a different uh, a different career because that's you know a career where you can take public transportation maybe you need to move to a state that has public transportation because where you're living now doesn't have it all because of a car accident that happened that you weren't expecting i met i once met a woman whose son got leukemia sadly uh and her whole life became about of course taking care of her son but also getting involved with the leukemia society and helping the leukemia society raise money her husband ran marathons all because of this tragedy that happened with her son that led her into a different direction to do something that she probably wouldn't have done uh, if her son hadn't gotten sick. So life challenges, wars, pandemics, uh, even positive things, right? So marriages, things that are positive that we like, um, but that we didn't, of course, plan for can lead our life into a different, along a different path or in a direction that was uh, not chosen by us, really, but that that event chose what we were going to do. And so why am I talking about this? Because I think that writing is one of those things that we don't choose. It's one of those events or one of those, a part of our life that tends to happen that we don't have a choice that we just have to write that we have to become writers because it's something that is a calling that is something that we didn't really choose but that actually it chose us because let's be honest like who would really choose to be a writer if it wasn't something that was deep inside you that you had to do right who would choose not to go to family events to spend hours and hours alone to make absolutely no money maybe not even enough to buy a cup of coffee in a week right so these are not fun things but the writing itself is something that's fun that brings us fulfillment that we're willing to uh to do it and to give up a lot of the other things in order to be able to write uh, i just came back from a writer's conference and all of these people that were there are there because of writing they're not there because they think that writing is going to make them famous they hope it will but it's more because of the love and the joy of writing and that there's something that they want to say that they want of course, to put down into a book, whether it's a memoir, whether it's a fiction novel, whether it's a nonfiction book, they have something that they want to say and it's deep inside them. And the only way that they're going to uh, feel um, at ease and get this, I guess, tension that's inside of them out is by writing that book that they need to write. Another reason that I think that this is more of an internal drive than just a decision that we make is, you know, people ask writers all the time, like, when did you decide to become a writer? Um, and if I'm honest, I don't really remember when I decided to become a writer. It's just something that I've always done. Uh, I can remember a time when I was in a literature class in junior high school at the time, uh, and I was reading books and I thought I could do this. I could write this I could I could write not better than this because I was reading classic literature at that time I didn't think I could write better but I thought I could write a story like this uh, but I've always loved books I've always loved writing there wasn't a time where I decided to okay today I'm going to become a writer uh, and for many writers it's the same thing they've always written in journals they've always uh, 
enjoyed writing letters. Out of all the assignments that were given to them in school, the ones they loved the most were the ones where they could write essays and express themselves and, and write about topics that were in, of interest to them. So it was something that was always part of them. It was part of that internal drive that led them to eventually want to become a writer. So the decision to write really isn't a decision at all. It's more of, to me, I think of it as, as accepting a gift. This is a gift that was given to me, uh, this, this need or this desire to write. Uh, and when I accept it, when I say, okay, I will write, I'm going to write another book, I'm going to write another story, that is a time when I feel the happiest. That's the time when I feel like the most relaxed. That's the time when uh, it's almost like a meditation where I'm able to release emotions or thoughts or creative ideas that I have trapped inside of me and I'm able to get those out, release them in the form of a book, in the form of a novel, and create the next writing project. It's almost as if my creative spirit has been absorbing all this stuff, uh, keeping it, holding on to it, and then all of a sudden it just be becomes too much to hold and it needs to come out into a writing project of some type into a next novel, into a next book. So if there is a decision that a writer makes, I think that the decision is either to accept this calling or to reject the calling. So either to accept it and decide, yes, I am a writer. Yes, I'm going to start writing. I'm going to become a writer or a rejection of it and saying, no, I'm not going to. I would love to write. It sounds like a great thing. I think I'd be happy writing, but I don't have the time. I don't want to put the energy into it or whatever. I think that is the decision that a writer makes. And I think that neither one brings either more peace or more stress because both of them do. So accepting this calling means that we become that person that sits alone at the computer, the person that sits at their desk thinking of stories, not interacting with uh, family friends as much as they want to, not m missing family events. Uh, it means leading a, maybe a, a very passionate life because you're writing and you're, sh you're sharing your passion, maybe become becoming more vulnerable because you are putting more of yourself out there that people can read and judge. It can mean maybe being a little moody, <laughs> so more moodiness. It can also be uh, mean more loneliness. And it's not an easy decision. Not accepting it means maybe being unhappy because you're not really fulfilling that dream that you have inside, that calling that you have that uh, would bring all the other stuff, but it would also bring that release of that creativity, of that tension, of that um, creativity that needs to come out. It could mean that the, you have this feeling that something is missing from your life because you didn't move forward with your writing. Um, there is an exception, I think, to that if that uh, creativity is channeled into something else. So if it's channeled into uh, art or it's into raising kids, because that can be a very creative act as well. Uh, having a garden so in some other type of creative endeavor if the writer uh, chooses not to write but to actually uh, do creative acts in some other way then i do think that they can fulfill some of that um some of that creative desire that they have and still be happy and not feel completely unfulfilled. So to me, because I chose the path of writing, of course, uh, it seems like a no-brainer that if you are, if you do have this desire, if you do have this calling to be a writer, that you really should follow it uh, because ultimately I think you're going to be expressing yourself the way that you're meant to be expressing yourself. If you're meant to be expressing yourself through words and through books and through writing, uh, although you can do something else, it's not going to bring the same amount of fulfillment. It's not going to. It's not going to give your life the purpose that writing would probably give you if that's what you're meant to do. So I do think that once a writer does decide to follow that writing path, that they really need to dedicate themselves to it completely. That doesn't mean it has to be a full-time job, but it has to be something that you pursue daily. It has to be something that you make time for in your life. It has to be t uh, maybe a, a find a place where you can call it your writing space so that it becomes part of who you are. I also think that writers that decide to follow that writing path need to learn how to do it well. So just because you have a calling, just because you have a desire to do something, doesn't mean that you're good at it, right? You might have some natural ability, but you also need to work on it to, to be good, to be better, to, to, to make it, to make yourself into 
the type of writer that you want to be. Um, so again, it is, it, and, and, that, and that actually creates more happiness and more fulfillment. So as you see yourself growing as a writer, as your writing becomes better and stronger, you actually become happier because you're working on your your strength you're making your strength better so study the art of writing read constantly develop that daily practice of writing and then share your writing and revise it so that again you're becoming stronger you're improving on your writing all the time so one of the things that i used to ask myself is the why me question why, um, you know, who, who do I think I am actually to write a story? Why me? Why would um, the universe, why would God give me this calling? Why would God want me to be a writer? What do I really have to say? Uh, I don't even have a great command of the English language. <laughs> why would I be the one to write? What well, makes me think that I could do that? Besides that, uh, sitting around creating stories seems sort of self-indulgent. Like why didn't I have a desire to do something more valuable for society and the world than just to be a writer? But I think once I realized that I didn't really choose this, that it was something that was given to me, it was a gift that was given to me, then I felt um, better. So it was, it, I, I no more chose to be a writer, let's say, than I chose to be a woman or I chose to be a Latina. It was just something that I am and I, I have no choice really but just to accept it and express it and try to become the best writer that I can. So just like I'm a woman, I try to, you know, uh, I guess be the best woman that I can be, right? So it's not something that I uh, decided like, oh yeah, I'm going to do nothing but write and I, that's that, you know, that's what I'm going to do. It's no more, it, it was more of, um, this is something that I feel I have to do because this is who I am. I'm a writer. So I don't honestly remember, uh, aside from being in that literature class and really thinking, yeah, I, pr I could probably do this. Uh, I don't really remember choosing to be a writer. I remember loving stories always. I remember my mom telling me stories when I was little to keep me quiet and entertained and loving stories. I remember uh, when I started community college and I decided just to take a creative writing class just out of the blue. I just decided I wanted to do that. And I remember loving it. I remember uh, turning in my first uh, writing chapter one, turning it into the class to be critiqued, uh, being scared to death, but feeling really good about actually writing, uh, not about the story. I didn't think the story was very good or that, that my writing skills were very good. Just feeling that this was a really cool thing to do, to actually be able to create something and write something and share it with somebody else and getting feedback and then taking it home and fixing it. And I think these things just sort of happen the same way that a car crash could happen or something. It's just slowly this, I, fo I started following this path that led ultimately to me sending my first novel to a publisher. Uh, there were just these little steps that I took. It's like, let me learn about this. Let me learn about publishing. How do I find an editor? How do I do this? And eventually um, it led me to today, right? To where I am multi-publish and all of that. Why? Because I, I, f I feel that it wasn't a decision, that it was just something that led me along this path that uh, I could, I, I don't think I could have gone a different path. I often think it would have been really cool to be this, to do something different, but it just didn't happen probably because it wasn't meant to. So if you are questioning whether you should be a writer, uh, I would say if you want to be, if you have this desire to be, it's probably something that you have no choice. You really need to write. You really need to create uh, your your stories, um, whatever type of creative act, honestly, that, that you want. So some, for some of you, it may be writing books. For others, it may be writing song lyrics. For others, it may be uh, doing uh, other types of art. But if you have that desire to create something, then that's probably what you should be doing. And I don't think you have a choice. So I think you should go and start doing it right now. I hope this has helped you. Please hit the like, the share button, leave me some comments, and I'm excited to talk to you again next week.